Hi everybody, welcome to today's tutorial. Today I'm going to be showing you guys how to set up your Quiddy print software. So this is the Windows tutorial. We also have a Mac tutorial up on the website too. So on the article under 3D printing, setting up Quiddy print software and slicing. Scroll down to parts you'll need or parts list and just go ahead and click on Quiddy print software. That's the software we're using and this T3 logo is our test file. So go ahead to the tab that says Quiddy software and go ahead and download the Quiddy print for Windows. You'll be taken to this Google Drive. Just go ahead and click download and download anyways. And you'll see down here it started to download. Now while that's downloading, we'll go ahead to our T3 logo. This is on Thingiverse. Just go ahead and click download all files and that'll start too. Now we can go ahead and set up our Quiddy software. Just go ahead and click it. Now you might get this Windows protected your PC. Just go ahead and click more information and just hit run anyways. Just click yes. English, okay. Next. And scroll and agree. So I'll show you where you're going to be downloading. Just hit install. Now go ahead and open your T3 logo print file. And you'll see here you have like all these. Just go onto your desktop. And dra drag and drop your files onto your desktop. And here is where our files is. Go back to your Quiddy print and finish. can go ahead and close that allow access now this is where you go ahead and select your printer I'm just going to use the Quiddy one for this tutorial but I'll also show you the X plus and the X pro and how you can switch printers inside the software so just go ahead and select printer close now you'll see this little tutorial pop up. Just can go ahead and read this. I'm just going to keep clicking next. Go ahead and make that bigger. Okay, now we want to import our T3 logo. So go ahead up into this open folder. And go to your desktop. That's where we put the file. Click files, T3 logo, and open. And you'll see it pop up right here. Now one thing we need to do is go under temperature, change it to 230. And make sure you have PLA selected. Now to start slicing, just go ahead and click prepare. Save to files. This is where you would save it to your SD card. For file type, if you're using the Quiddy one, leave it as x3g so if you want to know how to switch printers in the software go ahead and just head up to your where it says the printer name click it and you can change it right here now we're going to click and you should see it switch the x pro and the x plus use the same file type so if we go ahead and slice it and hit save to files both the x pro and the x plus are both dot g code so just go ahead and save that to your SD card and you're good to go.